Could you introduce ourselves to the viewers of HadaTelevisio.com? Yeah, my name is Attila Ripple. I'm the sales director for Panasonic South East Europe. You know, South East Europe, Panasonic South East Europe is responsible for Hungarian market and also for the Balkan market, so the Balkan territory as well. And I'm the sales director for this territory. Okay, so uh, over the course of the uh, past couple of years, Panasonic became sort of the brand to go for plasma TV. Um, what would you consider to be the key assets of your company in the TV business for 2012? Uh, we still believe that uh, for those people or those customers and users which are really keen on, on good picture quality, we still believe that the plasma technology is the best solution for them because of the fast moving pictures and, and good resolution. Uh, However, in case of uh, LED, this is this year our new, let's say, new strategy is LED. Maybe we start a little bit later than the others, but still we, we believe this is in time. And I still believe that uh, the mainstream will be this year LED for us, definitely. Okay, so uh, continuing on the um, LCD team, um, you have shown for the first time uh, bigger LED TVs, uh, bigger than 42 inch. So could you tell us a little bit more how is Panasonic working out the strategy? Is it like Panasonic plasma, like 50 inch and above, LED below? Mm -hmm. you know, can you elaborate a little bit more? Yeah. Uh, in case of LED, last year our biggest screen was from LED, it was 42 inch. This year we have introduced already the 47 inch and the 55 inch. So we go up into the bigger categories as well in case of LEDs, which is, we believe it's very important. And uh, this is the market segment we are targeting really the 42 inch and above and Panasonic has been always a premium category and uh, I do believe our market presence and our market brand is very well based and uh, in case of LEDs definitely we are targeting to be number one as well of course this is a long term long term strategy but uh, for short term let's say we, we have to be really strong in, in LED and I think our Panasonic brand image and brand name is very well known here so hopefully we will have an easy job to do that. Uh, looking a little bit into the overview, uh, according to GFK we have seen a tremendous growth in 3D TVs, mm -hmm. uh, over 122% year on year, mm -hmm. uh, and we have also seen smart TV growing 56%, yeah. so uh, were you a little bit surprised uh, at the way, at the speed how 3D took off and uh, ran with the market. Uh, what, what were your expectations? And uh, I think uh, this is my at least this is my thinking that uh, the suppliers are always ahead of uh, ahead of the technology somehow, which is available. For example, I don't, I don't think that even in Croatia there would be many 3D capable uh, broadcasting, but still many of the TV is already capable for 3D. So. Uh, I think this is our strategy and we are not surprised because we are supplying the 3D TVs and also in case of uh, smart TVs I think smart TVs will be even more more uh, let's say much quicker accepted than 3D because smart TV everybody can use it immediately and 3D is somehow you need a material for that but for smart TVs basically you, you do immediately when you have the application you can use it immediately you don't need to be an expert so come to um Smart TV. Uh, this year's interface and the whole design of the Smart Viera platform did not change by a lot. So, uh, could you elaborate a little bit more on what you expect? You know, what is the key accents that Panasonic puts on the Smart TV platform? Uh, I have to cite it, disagree. So uh, our platform has changed a lot because last year we didn't have an internet browser, for example, in our uh, smart VR connection. Or, uh, but from this year onwards, even from the low end, let's say low end, we don't have really low end model, but uh, even the entry internet capable TV or long capable TV, we can you can download the internet browser and you can have a free internet browser, which, which means you can put in your address which you want to uh, which you want to check web page and you can immediately do it so and this we didn't have last year and also we have a few applications which uh, which are really unique so 
for example, uh, there was a presentation inside about this swipe. You know, when you have a, a smartphone, then you can swipe the picture what you are checking on your small screen and you want to share it with your family, then immediately you can just swipe it and put it on the big screen and the and, uh, whole family doesn't have to sit like this each other, but they, you can see it on the TV, which is, I believe, a really good feature for us. So coming to the... Uh smartphone integration um, so we have seen Panasonic entering with the Aluga smartphone yep. um, is Aluga going to be available through on in the southeastern Europe and uh, what do you think what are the chances of that device uh, in the overall uh, lineup of Panasonic uh, so for Aluga the basic strategy is that uh, we started with Western Europe so in Western Europe I think recently uh, start the sales of uh, Aluga uh, our plan is to introduce in Eastern Europe or Eastern Central Eastern Europe countries uh, uh, during September and from September onwards. Our primary target is to have some common agreement with some operators, but also uh, the open market is, is could be very important uh, market for us. So definitely, uh, I'm, I trust that uh, they will be avail available even in Croatia because in Panasonic in Croatia, I think when it was a we had mobile phones before, I think. Panasonic mobile phones were very strong in Croatia. Yeah, they were number two behind yeah. Nokia. And I have to ask we simply because of the strength of the Croatian market, because Croatia is four and a half million people, yet seven million active devices and smartphone penetration uh, reached forty percent. So there is so millions of phones it, here. It must have it's a must have to be available. I hope you have seen it, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I have seen Luga and I have spoken with your colleague who is director of the German office uh, in Dubrovnik. Uh, uh, two weeks ago mm -hmm. um, and coming into Luga uh, recently it was published that uh, or announced that Panasonic is going to invest up to 370 million dollars in building a new generation of OLED uh, devices and we have seen that Panasonic Luga phone has an AMOLED display mm -hmm. um, could you tell us a little bit more how Panasonic plans to um, develop OLED, you know, is it going to be smartphone only or a PC only or do you plan offering TVs as well? At the moment, officially, I cannot comment uh, this, but definitely uh, OLED is the next next big boom, next technology, let's say, which we, which is coming out. And I'm not talking about only the smartphone, small small uh, displays, but rather about the big big screen displays for OLED screens. And definitely, Panasonic don't want to miss this, but uh, uh, we'll see when and how. Okay. Uh, so one of the questions would be. Roughly two years ago, Panasonic launched a 3D uh, camcorder for well, mainstream market, and that product did not exactly took off. You know, it might have been a little bit yeah. too early for the consumer. So, how do you see um, ex expanding that 3D content concept? Uh, given that you are a very strong in uh, I think uh, the, which you're talking about is the our 3D camcorder, which was basically meant to be a 3D camcorder, including the. 3D lenses. Yeah. Uh, what we did afterwards, uh, that was yes, you're right, uh, that was a little bit before the market. And what we did afterwards, and our next generation uh, camcorders already have this uh, feature, that basically we sell most of, let's say from the mid and high range range, we sell our camcorders with uh, as a 2D camcorder, but an optional, everybody can buy the optional 3D lenses, which means all of our cameras basically, not all of them, but uh, mid range and up, Camcorders are capable for recording 3D, and I do believe this is the right solution because not all of the people will have to need this uh, 3D lens. But uh, for those which are really needed, they can buy it as an optional. And for end, uh, could you give us your personal opinion on where do you feel the Panasonic is going to be the strongest in this year? Uh, I'm not sure about the Croatian market, but in, in case of Hungary, let's say, I'm, I'm not from Hungary, uh, the design of Panasonic was always a little bit behind of uh, competition, and I don't want to name all those competition. But uh, from now, this year, 
the first feedback from customers and, and from our partners that the design is excellent. So I think this is the first year where our designers really did a good job and there cannot be any complaint in case of design. So I think this, this year could be our year because of this uh, nice design and also feature-wise I think we are really ahead head to head to competition. So we I'm very positive with the new lineup this year lineup. Thank you. Thank you very much.